Uh, good afternoon, and thank you, Madam Chair and honorable members of the committee for taking up what I think is a very important piece of legislation in Senate Bill 1. Uh, and I know that there are a lot of constituents of mine and, and yours who are excited to see this bill come before us, but I also know that uh, tax legislation is always not the most intuitive legislation, the most exciting. Uh, so I want to talk about this in as plain English as I possibly can. Uh, while I know that we commonly would call this the pension tax repeal, I think calling Senate Bill 1 the senior tax relief plan is probably more accurate. Uh, the bill seeks to repeal the most harmful aspects of the 2011 pension tax, allowing seniors on fixed incomes to fully exempt retirement income. However, rather than serving as a straight repeal of, of that 2011 senior tax, this bill instead works to grant the most people the most money back in their pockets. And there are three main points that I'd like to focus on today. This bill offers options. The bill allows retirees to make a choice between existing subsection 9 deductions and this newly added language. Many people in the state have smaller non-existent employee-sponsored retirement. So the status quo may equate to more savings for them. This bill would exempt both public and private sources of retirement incomes. This means that not only would the public pensions be exempt, but so would private pensions, employer donations to 401ks, employer matched employee contributions to 401ks, certain annuities, and other qualified benefits. This bill is written to, to both keep up with inflation and to hold the school aid fund harmless, both of which are critical to ensuring that this is not just a tax repeal for the moment, while the state budget is good, but rather something that the state can sustain throughout continued growth. I view this bill also as an economic engine. For years, Michigan has seen people retire to Florida, not only for the warm weather, but simply for the tax liability. By improving seniors' ability to exempt forms of income, be, be this from retirement benefits or continued employment, Michigan has the potential to become a hub for retirees and families looking for a permanent place to call home. No one's tax bill will increase because of this legislation, and ultimately, this bill keeps a promise to our seniors. What you were told you would earn in retirement is what you will earn. I want to thank the committee for their time and listening to my testimony today, but more importantly, I know there are many individuals from across the state here today who have real life experiences with what the pension tax has, how that's impacted their personal retirement. And so I look forward to hearing their stories and how this legislation will help improve their individual situations. 